that's me. Um, I'm a bit sick at the moment, so I sound a bit weird, but um, today I'm just going to be giving you a tutorial on how to change the light colours on non ELS police cars in GTA 5 or 5M. So, for this one, so you can change it to any colour, or not any colour, but change it to red, blue, orange, yellow, green, purple, or white. And of course, I'm going to show you how to change it to today, or that you can change it to. And all the links that I've got will be left in the description. So, I'm going to be changing this charger here. I'm going to be changing it to an all blue uh, lights charger. So, I'm going to leave this the link. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to everything in the description below. Uh, I don't know if I've already said that, but uh, all you're going to need is Open IV, um, a car to edit and some kind of like for me i've got paint on that something that you can edit pictures with so um i'm just going to start up open IV right now you you don't need it just yet just to give it actually you might need it you might need it for some add-on vehicles but that's it really just need to wait for it to open up okay so i'm gonna download this vehicle you can follow along with me if you want Give me a second. So let's hope I get this right. So yeah, I'm on LSPDFR as well. So we download this. Come on. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. At the moment it's a red and blue lights and we're gonna change it to all blue, so So it's it's gonna look a little bit like this. Let me show an example. I've already made one, but I'm gonna remake it. So it's gonna look a little bit like this. This is what the charge is gonna look like at, at the finish. So we're gonna get this. So this is a 5M ready one already, so all you're going to need is the vehicle file, um, what inside of that, so you want to extract it to your desktop, and you're going to get, you need, a, or you need a car course for this to work, which are most likely they will have a car course, so you've got the vehicle files, and then you've got the car, or the meta files, so you want to go inside the car course, and here, is everything so the si so in this one the siren siren one all the way down to siren twenty here so what you're gonna want to do is you wanna go to the siren because most likely most of them will have this siren one siren two siren three and stuff like that so you wanna go to the siren you wanna go near to the bottom of that siren and you wanna f gonna wanna find color value equals and then this, whatever this is, and then this is where this website comes into use. Um, so in this case, we're changing it to all blue. So this is the all blue texture. That's the color. That's the code thing. So you, all you need is this. So you need to copy that, and you wanna gonna wanna paste it inside of there, inside of these brackets. Also, you're gonna need uh, some kind of editing tool like um, what's it called, like notepad plus plus notepad or i've got uh sublime text so usually what i do i go to the website since i'm changing it to all blue i'm literally just going to copy this whole thing this is what i usually do and then i just paste it and then save it so that's siren one changed to blue then if we go to siren two we go to the bottom you see here and i think this might already be blue yes it is so siren three that's not blue. And then turn four. That's blue, I believe. Yep, that's blue. Okay. So I'll just cut to when I'm finished with all of them. All you need to do is just find this and paste it. As you know, I won't cut it, but just I want to do an uncut halt and just everything uncut. Um. You can skip ahead if you don't want to watch on this and you know what to do. So that's already blue. And then 
that's already blue. That's not blue. That's blue. That's not blue. That's not blue. Usually there's around 20 of these, which, so it is a very time consuming thing. So, yep. So that's not blue either. Then that's blue. 16. It's not blue. 17. It's blue. 18. Oh god, what have I done? Okay. Is is blue 19? Is blue 20? Is blue. Okay, so once you've done that, you finish with the car calls. Don't need any more. Uh, and you don't need this website anymore. So, we close that as well. Now what you need to do is you need OpenIV. So you need to go into OpenIV. So you need to go into your stream folder where the car is. Turn edit mode on. Okay, and then. So what we want to do, we want to get these so the the yft the ytd and that underscore hide yft you want to drag these and drop them into there okay once you've done that minimize that so then you so mine's 15 charger so i'm just going to search for 15 charger and what you want to do you want to go inside of the ytd where all the textures are for you it might look like it might look a little bit like this or it might look like this so just uh, I, I prefer it like this so I'm gonna have it like this and all you need to do is you need to go along it all and you need to find the, the light texture the texture to the police lights this is going to be changing the texture so they're not the textures when the lights are on they're not red and blue so I'm going to export it to a PNG and then you want to keep on going along trying to find the Please like things. So here, here once again, we've got please like texture, another texture. Always make sure to export it to a PNG, and most preferably do it onto your desktop so it's easier to find. And then after you're done with it, you can just delete it. You don't have to keep them there. So no, it's not it. Just go through them all, make sure there's no light textures. You can double check if you want, but I'm not going to. So once again, find another one, export to PNG, save. Okay, so I'm done with that. Now you can minimize OpenIV. Now you want to go to your picture editing tool. So for me, it's paint.net. So start it up. Then you want to get all of these textures that you just exported from there, and you want to put it in to OpenIV. And then this is the tedious process. What you want to do, you want to. So there should be already be a blue light there. All you want to do is you want to copy. Gonna precisely copy the the texture. So you want to Control C. Then you want to go Control V. And then you're just gonna place it on there. Enter and then control V and place it on there. That's that part done and then you need to get this. So all of the anything that's red or whatever all the colour you're changing it to, you need to get a light texture for that. So for me I'm getting an all blue one, so control C, control V and put it over that. C, control V, over that, and I don't actually know what this does, and I I tried it out, and I ha I haven't noticed any of this on the actual car, so I think that's just something else. It's not actually the lights. Then save that, 
And you want to go to the next one. Once again, grab the blue. Control C. Control V. Place it over. Control V. Place it over and then save that. That's that done. Get this. Control C, Control V. And just paste them over all of that. Okay. Then we've got the last one. So get this. You can resize it to whatever size it needs to be. So once again, this needs to be resized. There we go. Oh no, need to go a little bit there. Okay, and then that's that done. Oh no, never mind. No, I don't actually know what this is, but I do it anyway because it's you know. So I do. I th I don't know whether it's the reflections or not, but I just do it because you know, just in case. I don't actually know what it does. There we go. Now we save that. And then, oh no, we're still not done. Let's see, control V. Go copy that over that. Enter. Now we save that and that's done. Now all of them are retextured to all blue, so you want to go back to OpenIV, back into your YTD, and you want to click import. And you want to find them them textures that you just re them things that you just retextured. Oh. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> so you want to find them and you just want to open and then it'll like just click OK and it'll just replace them files already and you see it there. Then save. Okay, and then what you want to do now is you want to get back to the 15 charger folder or the folder that you're using. And you want to just get these three files that you've just edited in OpenIV and drag them into there. And you just want to replace them all. Like that. Close that. Minimize that. So now all you want to do. So you see I have got an FX server wherever it's gone. There you go. So I've got an FX server that I can test it in. So all I need to do is server data so resources and I need to get this. Drag it in there. And for you it won't say replace, I've just already got it in here. So it replace that file destination. And it's in there. And now what you want to do is you want to get that, you want to get the name of that. And I'm going to go to server.cfg and then you want to start like that and then all you need to do now is start your server you're done with the car and then I'm going to go test it in the in my FX server And also, if I was going too fast in that tutorial, all you can do is just pause it along the way. Don't really think I was going too fast, but that's me. And I will, I will actually be doing some, uh, some more videos like this, some tutorials, and and then I will also, uh, I'll, r I'm probably not going to stream because that c causes me a lot of texture loss. So, it might do the same with the recording. I don't know, but I'll record some 5M on a server that I play on. Oh, come on, 5M, start up. I, I only have 8 gigs of RAM at the moment, so my computer's a little bit slow. So, you know, give me a little bit of time. Oh, I hate fi how 5M have just recently uh, added in some new loading screen music, or some home screen music. At least give us the option to turn it off.
My server is up. Yeah. Be a bit too loud, actually. Okay. I might be a little bit better. So I'll connect to my server. Might take a little bit of time. I don't want to. I don't want to cut this at all because I just want this to all be. I don't want this to all make sense. So, I might do another video on how to retexture pads and how to retexture vehicles. All the way I do it because you can UV map it, but it's not what I do. That costs money. The way I do it is free. So, just let it load. Oh, it's taking a long time. My computer is very slow at the moment because I've only got 8 gigs of RAM, so like it's so hard to play with. Here we go. So let's spawn in the vehicle. Come on. And then let's make it night. And then turn off the lights, and here we go. It's an old blue charger. Let me turn on the extras. All blue. All the lights are blue. How it's meant to be. And then the front ones are flashing white. I honestly I don't know how to change them. I've tried it, and I can't find I find out. Where you change them, I think that's it, not something else, but I mean, I'm fine with it to be honest. I'm fine with the flashing. But yeah, that's pretty much the basics of it. It's pretty easy to be honest. All you need is a uh, car call stop meta. And it won't actually be this bright if you haven't got uh, a thing, a uh, visual mod. But it's not very visual mod, it just makes the lights brighter. But yeah, um,. Hopefully that helped you, maybe with server development or something, maybe with all blue vehicles. It would be a very tedious process with the pack, but yeah. Thank you.